async API. It's a specification that you should use to describe your event-driven architectures. So you're most probably already using open API to describe the synchronous communication between your services when they talk to each other directly. But that's not always the case, right? And there are cases where you really need async API. And it's, for example, when you have WebSockets in use or when you, two different services talk to each other through a message broker. You can't use open API for it. That's what async API is for. Now, in contrast to open API initiative, async API initiative cares not only about the spec, how it should evolve, but also about the tooling that uh, should be supported. So it's not just spec, it's a lot of coding as well. And we have many different tools in place. We have a uh, like generator for docs and code. We have uh, parses. We have also some React components. So many different things that uh, you can work on in this neutral, vendor neutral space in Async API initiative. And that's it if it comes to the intro. Thanks.